so the code we want to add to have the jump logic is actually pretty simple. So in fixed update, what we need to do is we just need to add in a new condition that if the character is in a jump state, we want to take the old position, his old y position, and we want to actually translate him uh, up based on this jump curve value times some multiplier, and we're going to translate along vector 3 dot up. And if he's in the locomotion jump where he's actually running, we want to move him forward some amount too. So we want to do that. We just want to take his current forward uh, and multiply by some jump distance, and we're going to translate him along his z-axis. So he's basically just going to go like forward like that. So he's going to move in this direction. And uh, the other one is moving him in this direction. So we're moving up and forward. And additionally, we want to move the capsule collider. We want to change its height based on the capsule collider curve. So we're just grabbing values out of the state tree. So we're just grabbing values from here and here. And finally, we want to actually take the camera. We want to move the camera up because we want to make the camera jump with him. So the next step is we need to actually add in these is jump methods, is in jump. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to say if the character is in either an idle jump or in a locomotion jump, we're going to go ahead and say that he's jumping. So in order to do that, we need to add in uh, this reference to the capsule collider. And we want to have, so we want to have access to his capsule collider. We want to give him some jump distance. We want to have that multiplier. Now we need to also set the capsule collider. So we're going to do that in start. We're going to set the capsule collider equal to just grab the component. And we're just going to do it that way. And the, and the capsule height, we're just going to store it on start. And finally, we just need to change this because that actually said base. So you don't want to have it say base. You want to have base layer. So also, I think that we need to change this from gamecam.transform. We actually want to move the parent rig. So we want to change this to parent rig. And parent rig. OK, cool. So we all probably have to encapsulate this field. So just encapsulate. Make sure that you only give it a read-only value. And stick this in our public variables section. All right, that'll do it. Let's see if that works. Parent rig does not exist. Oh, gamecam.parentrig, we need to do that. There we go. So hopefully we'll jump now and the camera will jump with us. And the capsule collider should change height too. So let's click on that just to make sure. Okay, good, we'll be able to see the height over here. Okay, let's hit play. Turn on the Xbox controller. Whoa, that was a little extreme. Why did that happen? Let's have a look at the code real fast. Vector three dot up translate. So we actually needed to make this not uh, parent rig dot transform right here. We needed this just to be the normal transform position, and that should do the trick now. So let's just make sure that works. Okay, cool. Now we've got a nice jump, and the camera moves with our character. Looks good. So that's the end. I think we have everything now. We've got our look. We have our third person view. We have our behind the back camera. We have the ability to recenter using the targeting. And we have pivoting as well as jumping. So we can jump over these boxes. So that's like a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice place to stop. I think we should maybe make some prefabs out of these controllers just so we can reuse them in another scene. I'm going to grab my camera, drag it down into here, and create a prefab. And I'm going to apply the settings to this prefab. Let's open up our other scene and, and test them out in like a real game level. Save changes. And we're going to load this same level that is in this game just for kind of testing purposes. So we can see sort of the parallels of how the game works out. So we're gonna gonna go ahead and drag in our main camera from our prefab section, and we're just gonna delete the old camera, and we're gonna revert the prefabs just to make sure we get the most current values. Now let's see. It's not receiving control.
And the reason it's not receiving control is we actually need to drag our camera into this slot here. We need to save that. So let's uh let's apply those changes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and test out our level. Looks like running around is pretty smooth. Uh, appears like we're a little bit off the ground. I'm not sure if that's just me seeing things or the capsule collider might not quite be on the ground. But we can jump around. We can run over things. Oh, that was weird. And we can move our camera around. Feels pretty good. So I think that's where we're going to leave off. So thanks a lot for uh, for joining us, and uh, we hope that this tutorial was, was somewhat educational and, and fun, and hopefully you'll be able to use some of these techniques in your own projects. See you next time.